Oh, Palutena. And, oh, okay, Raven King is also using Joker, so. And looks like it's 2-1 Sharp at the moment. And the winner of that will play Copple. And so on and so on. So here we go. Game one, Terry versus DK. Explosive match. Hands getting thrown everywhere. Let's see how many go meters get wasted and used. Honestly, by the time that um, Mustaine is at go percent, he should just get like back going and die. If he's able to get a grab. If Chunky Kong is able to get a grab. Okay, very good. Up till top air. Into the the true rising tackle. We're gonna see another one. Up tilt. Okay, good DI from Chunky Kong. Throwing more power waves, Mustaine making sure that Chunky Kong knows he's the one that has to approach. Getting clipped with a back air. Going for these B reversals, Chunky Kong. Very tricky at the ledge. Wow, that's right. Crack Shoot has very little lag if you're able to, uh, to mix up your opponent. And even then, like, Chunky Kong saw that it was a cross up and he went to turn around and challenge, but still, Mustaine was able to just keep throwing punches, and just like that, Power Knuckle, Burning Knuckle to Burning Knuckle. <laughs> Chunky Kong dropping another stock. Mustaine working on a three stock. Alright, I have returned. I apologize. A little bit of the way here, but Mustaine up against Chunky Kong, as you can see. Did a pretty solid job. Seven three three stocks to fly. And he finally reads the jump from the ledge. Yeah, that was a great conversion. We saw Mustaine do a falling nair. And then uh land. Down air. Yeah. It is. <sighs> Falling air, rising down air. And on a big body like DK, it's going to be so much easier to hit. But you saw what I was talking about a little bit about how Chunky Kong being a big body can be very good for Terry because he was able, Terry was able to position himself like at ledges to the point where he would catch, uh, he could react to any of, of uh, Chunky Kong's get up situation pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm coming a little bit late here, so a little bit lost. I apologize for the disconnect, guys, but finally managed to reconnect here. I, I think, yeah, look, when, you, when you put it in hindsight, right, the fact that Terry can just... If you're a big body, it just it just hurts you more, because your hurt box is just anything that Terry wants to connect. And things that wouldn't necessarily be true become way more true because of how big your hurt box is. So for Chucky Kong, it's going to be more of a whip punish grab game. More than ever, as if it wasn't already bad. It has to be that bad. So, we'll see. I mean, like I said, normally that rising tackle is only connecting the character by first say Joker because of his thin uh, her box, but on Chunky Kong, man, that's going to be everything in the entire world. Look at that. Trying to pressure Chunky Kong with a couple of power waves into the air and Mustaine trying to meet him in the air. Yeah, there's a, there's a full copy there. 120 to 144. This is where Chunky Kong wants to be, right? A scenario in which it looks more winnable for his opportunity. But unfortunately, he gets stuck at the ledge here, and the steam will hesitate to take the spot. 142 already. And that was in between, like, the downbeats from DK. That's that's crazy. But there you go. Quick, easy 50. C forward air, F tilt. And of course, the F tilt converts into um, Buster Wolf. Yeah. Think about. Oh! It's great a snowball. Yeah, it's a snowball game, right? Once, once you see Terry at 164, yes, you sneeze on him and he may die. But at that point, right, he also gets the snowball. He least snowball two stocks in the game. You have to think about Buster Wolf as if it were a better quick draw, right? The minute you see Terry jump from the stage, that, I'm from the ledge, I'm sorry, you can see him just activate that, take the stop, and then where you thought you were in whiff punish range, becomes a punishable range by that, as we're seeing 95 already. And that's game. It looks like Chucky Kong just DI to the blossom and said, forget it. Dude, Terry 
is a monster, especially with Must the way that Mustaine is playing. He is being so aggressive, forcing Chunky Kong to approach, or keeping his distance until his he's ready to go in and get his big damage combos. Yeah. I mean, there's no other way to say it, man. Mustaine is just <laughs> taking taking advantage of the fact that life is sent to fly. Broken record here at this point. I'll repeat it once more. That's a big hurt box. And for Terry, big hurt box is big damage. Big damage is big stocks and big plays. And that was all she was out there in that game here. So this is going to be the final game. Chunky Kong's last stand. Uh, and you're break. already calling it. This is going to be a 3-0 in Mustaine's favor. You heard it here from Vance. <sighs> hey. Look. Look, you said right. it yourself. He's got a Wario. <laughs> He's got a Wario. So he can make the Wario play if it needs to be here. But mustaine has got such momentum. And even then, I I wouldn't even know where to start on the Wario versus Gary matchup. But fortunately, that Wario ain't coming out. And this may be Chucky Kong's final stand here. We'll see how things go. Mustaine with the three. I'm sorry, with two. Oh, potentially the three here on the board. Let's get into this Ludus' quarters match. The stage Three, selection here is going to be battle for me. Yeah, this should be like a much a better stage working out for, for Chunky Kong. He's going to be... He has like big hitboxes, so catching these platforms is going to be a little bit easier. Um, at the same time, like really chasing Terry around the stage wasn't the issue. It was just that he kept like losing neutral or the, the scramble situation between the two players. Yeah. I think the one thing that we're seeing Chunky Kong you have a little bit more leniency is to be able to use down be a little bit longer in the stage. Just because of the way that battlefield is it's kind of it's not that small of a stage, but you know it, it isn't that big. It gives Chucky Kong a little bit more space here. But we saw this game going. Wow, power guys. I mentioned it. It covers every option. All you gotta do is just read the magic timing and you get it. Yeah, but I will say this, Power Geyser at the ledge does, isn't always your best friend. If you uh, do a neutral getup at the correct time of Power Geyser, it, Terry is a sitting duck. You can do whatever you want to him. Just like there, you can see a down B clipping through the flat, the, the ledge. And even with uh, the intangibility on the legs from Terry, it's still going to send him down. Yep. I will no tech situation because it doesn't actually go for the getup attack. Able to actually survive in that situation. That would have been pretty tough. Big damage there from DK, especially at the ledge. Potential stock loss. Feeling the need to put in pressure there, but unfortunately that's not very much shield, man. And unfortunately for Chunky Kong, he really wanted to take that all the way to the blast zone, and in doing so, he brought himself all the way down to the brain here. Last stock scenario. Yeah, Mustaine able to get the directional air dodge, putting himself on the left side. That is not where Chunky Kong wanted Mustaine to be. But still fighting back. Mustaine trying to get back to center stage. And I think at this point, you know, we're starting to see the damage and the game really kind of going more into Mustaine's favor. But just like that, down B into up smash. And as soon as we saw go, that go was gone. Yeah. So this is what I'm going to be expecting from Mustaine. We're going to see a lot more power waves. We're going to be... He's gonna try and pressure him into his shield again and then really abuse shield pokes. Uh, and of course, Chunky Kong gonna be forcing to use those down B as he lands. Yeah, he's it's been, been really aggressive. Cool. Yeah. He's been very aggressive with them. I could also look at the range that has on the ground. I mean, it's really much. It's a very powerful move in the air. A lot of damage, a lot of knockback, a lot of combo potential. But if you look at it on the ground, man, that, that radius is huge. Yeah, one thing I'm, I'm hoping to see from Mustaine is that we're going to see like a... Oh, oh, no! I was just going to say, I hope we see a crack shoot, but that was not the right time to do it! <laughs> I wanted to see him like dash up to Chunky Kong and then crack shoot, almost to get like that cross-up animation, because yeah. crack shoot had such a low ending lag that Chunky Kong uh, will still feel pressured and Mustaine will be able to act out. But Chunky Kong able to dash back with the hardest read of S-Smash. Close out game three. This isn't the first time that I've seen Mustaine go for a situation where it just pays out poorly, especially against Shields. I know that probably the Twitch chat is saying, oh, it's because he's a matchy Terry. And in my opinion, I don't like to call it matchy, we call it pressing buttons. Both Terry has great buttons. That's what it is. It's not matchy. If you got good buttons, why wouldn't you press them? Exactly. Thank you, Z buttons. In that scenario, though, pressing the button that was crack shoot on Shield where it's not safe was punishable by death. 
And Chucky Khan knew that. Look at the range in which Forrest Max was. That wasn't the first time that he's cracked shoot on the shield or within that range. Sixty percent off the back. Good lord, man! All the way about to sixty-one. Able to sneak in that little bit of percent from that opportunity. Yeah, Eighty-nine and went for range. Already in prime position, not the ledge. That's where you kind of want to be. You want to be in that golden spot where if your opponent tries to go for a get-up option, you call out the aerial, the neutral get-up, a roll, and occasionally even the aggressive option. But these these landing down bees are just getting so many mileage for jumping on. I think he's finally found a tool that Mustaine is doesn't exactly not not necessarily has an answer for, but he is able to abuse. Yeah. This is down throw. Oh nice. He wants to turn that after that board there. Or what look to be like a new plan, I'm so sorry. Crack shooting in for a little bit more percent. 45 to 97. Once again, Chucky Kong looking to push some advantage here at the ledge. He goes for the Rising Taco just to barely make it go meter activated. Look, I'm looking at Mustaine right now, and you gotta be careful. See the percent. Finally, oh, power That was a good mix up because he's been spamming Power Wave, Power Geyser, animation, only holds it for a little bit longer. It's very difficult to tell the difference between the two. And yep. yeah, now he's mixing up the animations. Is he throwing Power Geyser? Is it Power Wave? Which one's gonna come out? Yeah, and if you look at Chucky Kong too, he's a little bit too aggressive trying to come back from the other. Look at where Terry was. He would have got him off the stage. There would have been enough time for him to, to come back and style the stage. Thing. But that nonetheless, though, I mentioned, Power Geyser covers a lot of options. Bust to 49 to 7. 7 to get off the Power Geyser. Just gentlemen. keep doing it. Keep throwing it out. If you got the tools, use them. Yeah. 119. Oh! That was <laughs> Is that that's the disconnect? That's the disconnect. That's yep. the disconnect. The Man. Chunky Kong classic. Did I just lose the set? I'm out of here. <laughs> I don't even want to see the victory screen. Don't just even give it to him. Okay. Just take the switch off the dock and call it a day. Take your switch, throw it across the room. <laughs> Tournament's over. <laughs> Indeed. Ah, oh, man, it's good to see a good Terry every now and then. I'm telling you, it's a breath of fresh air, but it also lets the world know that, hey, this character isn't that much of a higher tier. This character is a little bit in the, Yeah, he's busted, man. He's more busted. of a top tier. And I actually tell people, in Ultimate, I think top tier belongs to 15 spots. <laughs> more than anything, but that, that's, a th that's a thesis statement to make for another day. And I'm the last here. I'm a Steam. 3-1 over Chucky Kong. Chucky Kong got a point on the board. The switch goes flying off the dock and the stain will move forward. I mean, now we know why Samsara got the losers, right? <laughs> Is that, was it Mustaine that, that beat Samsara? Yeah, yeah, Mustaine did beat Samsara in the winner's side to make it into top 24 winners. Mustaine wow. sent Samsara to losers. Okay. Yeah, well. I've been repeating it all night. <laughs> but, uh, nonetheless, Mustaine, uh, as. As Hollywood mentioned in the chat, uh, probably oh, one of Middle Mexico's best areas. And that's the beauty of MSM Online, ladies and gentlemen, is that you can see some of the greatest talent around, the, pretty much around anywhere, you know, within the vicinity of SoCal that's playable in this case, right? Preferably with a line adapter included. <laughs> Yeah, let's see. I think uh, 